Hello everyone, welcome to the Tech Hand. There are many different ways to achieve nuclear fusion. In today's video, we will look at some of the new ways to achieve nuclear fusion. Before getting into the video, please make sure to click the subscribe button and bell icon. Let's dive in. What is nuclear fusion? Nuclear fusion is a process by which atomic nuclei combine to form a heavier nucleus, releasing energy as a result. This process occurs naturally in stars, and scientists have been trying to harness it as a potential source of clean and virtually limitless energy for use on Earth. The basic idea behind nuclear fusion is to create conditions under which the positive charge of the nuclei will overcome the electromagnetic force that normally keeps them apart, allowing them to merge into a heavier nucleus. When this happens, a small amount of mass is converted into energy. History of Nuclear Fusion the idea of nuclear fusion as a source of energy dates back to the early 20th century, when scientists first discovered that the nuclei of atoms could be fused together to form heavier elements. In the 1920s and 1930s, physicists began to experiment with ways to achieve nuclear fusion in a controlled environment. The first major breakthrough in the field of nuclear fusion came in the late 1930s, when scientists at the University of Cambridge in the UK discovered that when deuterium is fused with another deuterium nucleus, it can release a large amount of energy. This was the first experimental evidence that nuclear fusion could be a viable energy source. How does nuclear fusion occur? In order to achieve nuclear fusion, the positively charged nuclei of the atoms need to be brought close enough to each other that the strong nuclear force can hold them together. However, the positively charged nuclei will also repel each other due to the electrostatic force. To overcome this repulsion, the atoms need to be heated to extremely high temperatures on the order of millions of degrees so that their nuclei are moving fast enough that they can overcome the electrostatic repulsion and come together. Additionally, the atoms need to be placed under extremely high pressures so that the nuclei are squeezed together even more. The same principles can be used in a controlled environment, like nuclear fusion power plant. Researchers have been trying to create experimental reactors that can achieve the conditions necessary for nuclear fusion. These experiments have been ongoing for several decades, and while significant process has been made, there are still many technical challenges that need to be overcome before nuclear fusion. Here are some of the new ways to achieve nuclear fusion. Number 10, Magnetized Target Fusion. Magnetized Target Fusion, MTF, is a fusion energy concept that combines aspects of magnetic confinement and inertial confinement fusion. It involves using a combination of magnetic fields and high energy lasers or particle beams to compress and heat the fuel. With the goal of achieving a self-sustaining fusion reaction, in MTF, the fuel is contained in a small magnetized target that is suspended within a larger magnetic field. The target is then subjected to high energy beams of particles or lasers, which heat and compress it, causing the fuel to ignite into a plasma. One of the main benefits of MTF is that it has the potential to achieve fusion at lower temperatures and pressures than are acquired by other approaches, such as tokamaks and inertial confinement fusion. Number 9. Field Reverse Configuration Fusion Field Reverse Configuration FRC. Fusion is a fusion energy concept that involves creating a plasma with a special magnetic field configuration that allows it to sustain a fusion reaction for a longer period of time. In FRC, Fusion, a plasma is created by heating and ionizing a gas using electrical current or a high energy beam of particles or lasers. The plasma is then confined within a magnetic field that has a particle configuration known as a field reverse configuration, or FRC. This configuration allows the plasma to sustain itself for a longer period of time, potentially allowing for a more efficient and stable fusion reaction. Number 8. Laser Induced Plasma Acceleration Fusion Laser-induced plasma acceleration, LIPA, fusion is a fusion energy concept that involves using high-energy lasers to accelerate a stream of plasma, causing it to collide and fuse with another stream of plasma. In LIPA, fusion, a gas is ionized using lasers to create a plasma. The plasma is then subjected to additional high-energy lasers, which accelerate it to extremely high speeds. The accelerated plasma is then directed to collide with another stream of plasma, causing the two to fuse together and release energy. Number 7. Muon-Catalyzed Fusion 
Muon Catalyzed Fusion is a fusion energy concept that involves using subatomic particles called muons to catalyze the fusion of hydrogen isotopes, potentially at lower temperatures and pressures than are required for other approaches. In Muon Catalyzed Fusion, a gas is cooled to extremely low temperatures, at which point it can be converted into a solid or liquid state. Muons, which are subatomic particles with a positive charge, are then introduced into the fuel. The muons can interact with the hydrogen nuclei, causing them to fuse together and release energy. Number 6. Polywell Fusion Polywell Fusion is a fusion energy concept that uses a combination of electric and magnetic fields to confine and heat a plasma, with the goal of achieving a self-sustaining fusion reaction. In Polywell Fusion, a gas is ionized, using an electric current to create a plasma. The plasma is then confined within a complex arrangement of electric and magnetic fields known as a polywell. The fields are used to heat and compress the plasma. Number 5. C2U Fusion C2U Fusion is a fusion energy concept that involves using a combination of lasers and an electric field to compress and heat the fuel, causing it to ignite into a plasma. In C2U Fusion, a gas is ionized using an electric current to create a plasma. The plasma is then subjected to high-energy lasers, which heat and compress it, causing the hydrogen nuclei to fuse together and release energy. One of the main benefits of C2U Fusion is that it has the potential to achieve fusion at relatively low temperatures and pressures, potentially making it a more efficient and cost-effective approach. Number 4. Plasma Liner Compression Fusion Plasma Liner Compression Fusion is a fusion energy concept that involves using a plasma liner to compress and heat the fuel, causing it to ignite into a plasma. In Plasma Liner Compression Fusion, a gas is ionized using an electric current or a high-energy beam of particles or lasers to create a plasma. The plasma is then confined within a plasma liner, which is a shell of plasma that is used to compress and heat the fuel, causing it to ignite into a plasma. Number 3. M Biospherical Tokamak M Biospherical Tokamak MST is a variant of a tokamak fusion device that uses a specially shaped magnetic field to confine the plasma and stabilize the fusion reaction. In a tokamak, the fuel is contained in a plasma within a toroidal magnetic field. The MST design modifies the shape of the magnetic field in order to improve the stability and performance of the plasma. Specifically, the MST design uses an M-shaped magnetic field, which is created using a system of magnets arranged in a particular configuration. Number 2. Inertial Confinement Fusion Inertial Confinement Fusion ICF, is a fusion energy approach that involves using high-energy lasers and particle beams to compress and heat a small pallet of fuel, causing it to ignite into a plasma. The pellet is then subjected to high-energy lasers or particle beams, which heat and compress it, causing the fuel to ignite into a plasma. The plasma is then confined by the pressure of the laser or particle beams, allowing the fusion reactions to occur. Number 1. Acoustic Confinement Fusion Acoustic confinement fusion is a fusion energy approach that uses sound waves to compress and heat the fuel, causing it to ignite into a plasma. In acoustic confinement fusion, a small pallet of fuel is suspended in a vacuum chamber. However, acoustic confinement fusion is a technically challenging approach, and there are many technical challenges that must be overcome in order to achieve controlled nuclear fusion using this approach. These challenges include developing materials that can withstand the high pressures required and developing a way to confine the plasma long enough for the reactions to occur. Despite these challenges, researchers are making progress and are optimistic that acoustic confinement fusion will eventually become a viable source of energy. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Let us know in the comments that you're subscribed and what you think of this video. We'll apply to you personally. You can also give a thumbs up. Thanks for that.